Welcome to this easy tutorial of RPG Maker 2000. I will be telling you how to make a simple RPG game and how to import your own chip sets and so on. Here you can see the database. This holds most of the basic information in the game. From the hero and other party members to the monsters that you will be encountering. Okay. On the side here you can see in variation of different materials. You have land and sea materials here, also you have some building materials too, useful for making houses and whatnot. If you are wanting to add your own objects and characters into the game this is what you have to do. I am downloading some ready-made ones from a website. The pictures have to be laid out in a certain way for them to be imported into the game. Once you have selected what you want you can take it and import it into the game by clicking on the import button at the top. If you are importing chip sets into the game then select chip sets and then press import, then import the picture that you have saved. You can select what color you want to be transparent so it won't be seen in game. Now that that is done let's see what it looks like. Click on the database button and select chip sets, then click on a box with three little dots on it, your picture should be in the selection menu. Find it and then select it. So there you have it. You have the background tools that you want. You can change it and customize it to your liking, until you have just what you want. Now let's change one of the members to our party. On this website there are a massive amount to choose from. What we need is char sets now. Now we have found what we want, we can do the same thing as what we done with the background. That was save it and import it into our PG Maker. Instead of selecting chip sets in the import menu you have to select char sets. After that, go to the database. On the hero menu you should see a little animation of someone walking, click the box next to it and find your picture. You should see that all the little pictures in the picture have turned into one, select the one that you want. Now you want to select where you want your character to start, to do this click the little yellow box at the top. This should change what's in your chip set, but don't worry. No right click somewhere on the map, select set start party position. After the test play and see if it works. As you can see it has worked. But you don't have to have a Pokemon as your hero. In fact you can have Pokemon as the monsters if you want. Something that I forgot to say it in the chip set you can choose it you want to have a certain thing to walk through or not. The cross means you can't walk through it and the circle means you can. You can change this simply by clicking on it. The last thing now is the monsters. The picture can be any little picture. Just do what you've done with the other things. Import under monsters and find the picture. After that go to the database and change the name and picture to the name of the monster. You can also change the stats of the monster too. After that add it to your game and hey, you have a monster.